Navigating the standard view of Gmail can be a little bit of a stickler for screen reader users as we were used to using the basic HTML view. But now that standard view is a thing, we have to learn to navigate that. And that's why we're doing this Gmail series. We taught you in the first lesson to activate Gmail's keyboard shortcuts, as well as how to navigate your inbox table and read emails. Now in this one, we're going to go a little further teaching you how to compose and send emails in Gmail. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you both ways, the regular way using your regular quick navigational keys, as well as the way using Gmail's shortcuts. I like to teach you both ways because of course, you know, you'd want to learn Gmail's easy way of navigating its own web application, as well as I like to teach the other way where we learn that our regular keys that we use to navigate any web page is also still very applicable in using gmail so first let me inbox alert main landmark enable desk all right so i have logged into my account and of course because we had already activated gmail's keyboard shortcuts it automatically put nvda into focus mode but i want to show you the regular way first i'm going to take in nvda out of focus mode by pressing insert space or of course you can use caps lock space if your computer is using the laptop version of NVDA so pressing that now and we heard that sound which means that it has indeed been deactivated and I'm gonna go to the top of the page out of table blank I just pressed control home to do that for compose compose is a button on the Gmail page it doesn't matter where you are in Gmail, whether you're on your inbox page, your sent email page, or some email page, it doesn't matter. Compose is always a button found somewhere at the top of the Gmail page. So that is why I prefer to head to the top. And then I'm going to use my navigational quick key B, which will make me navigate by buttons. And of course, I'm looking for Compose. I'm gonna have to press B a few times. Banner landmark. Search land, search mail, clickable, clickable, Google apps, Google account, clickable button, navigation landmark, compose button. And that is it. Navigation landmark, and then it announced compose button. Pressing enter on this. Compose button, compose, new message dialog, new message region, table, to add CC recipients, control shift C, add BCC recipients, control shift B, search field list, to recipients combo box collapsed has auto complete editable non selected blank. And it said a lot of things a while ago, but basically, once you press enter on the compose button, you are automatically taken to the compose form and placed in the to field. And the to field is automatically activated for forms mode for NVDA. So even though we're not using Gmail's keystrokes here, you still will need NVDA's forms mode in order to be able to input information into these edit fields. So the first two, the first, so the first field here is of course the to field. To whom would you like to send an email? You have to type the email address of that person in here. I'm gonna go with blind accessibility tips at gmail.com. I'm gonna type that now. B L I N D A C C E S I B I L I T Y. IPS at G I L dot o M compose new message dialog new message region table to add CC you may have noticed that just before I typed the M a while ago you heard the forms being deactivated and reactivated again and it may make you want to stop typing in your email address but please ignore that finish typing the full email address C O M there at the end and then you can press tab to go to the next forms field compose draft saving dialog new message region table to search field list to receive it has taken us to another two field if you wanted to send this email to somebody else you could type in another person's email address here and tab away again we don't want to use this two field so we're just going to ignore it and tab once more subject edit subject blank subject let's just type hello H -E -F -F -O. All right. Now, make sure you need to understand that you should really not send emails without typing in a subject line. And of course, you want your subject line to your email recipient understand what your email is about. So I have typed hello because it's just to me. And I'm going to tab once more. Table, row one, column one. Table, row one, column one. Message body edit multi-line blank. 
and this area that says table and message body and all of that basically this is the area where you would type the full body of your message so let me see cabbage e -O. hello how are Cap you alerts space a space what oh you question and that's all i'm going to type you of course may have extensive emails to type but in this area is where you would type all of what you would need to say to the person and then once you're finished of course we know we tab again send control enter button and you heard forms mode deactivate and now you're out of the forms field and on a button and the button says send if you want to send the email you just press enter and it will go that's all you have to do to send an email all right now let's practice composing and sending an email the other way the gmail keyboard shortcut way so i have already reactivated focus mode by pressing insert space now i want to compose so all i have to do is press c c compose new message dialog new message region table to add cc recipients control shift c add bcc recipients control shift b and if you notice it took us to the same form as we had gotten with the previous method and it's the same here you type in this to field the person email the person's email address B. blind accessibility tips at gmail dot call list starts to blind say some stuff tips but again ignore it type your m, m. blind accessibility tip. ensure that you type the full email address before you hit tab compose draft saving dialog new message region table to search field list and it took us to another to field again if you want to use this to field go right ahead and type another email address in there every time you use the to field and tab away it will give you another to field until you don't want anymore and i don't want anymore so i'm just going to ignore this one and tab so instead of giving me another to field i'm going to get subject subject edit subject blank all right in here i'm gonna type hello as we did before hello. and then we're gonna tab to our message body table row one column one table row one column one and of course it says table row one column one and then it's gonna say message body here is where you type your full body email question and just like before when you have finished typing your full message in the message area here you tab again send control enter and again we have reached the send button and you would press enter and that is it sending emails through gmail even in the standard view is pretty simple if you're a true fan then you need to hit like and share tap that like button and share this video your support helps us grow let's make it happen thanks for watching okay now let's send an email with an attachment all right, I'm already on the Compose form. I'm just going to type the email address that I want to send this message to. B. Blind accessibility tips at gmail.com. Blind accessibility tips at gmail.com. Not selected one of one. All right, I didn't even have to finish typing the email address because I had used it before. It recognizes it and brings it up. So I'm just going to press Enter to accept. Compose. Draft save dialog. New message region. Table. To. Search field list. And it placed me in another to field after accepting that email address but i don't want to use this to field so i'm gonna tab subject edit subject blank i'm gonna type hello again h e l l o in the subject field then i'm gonna tab table row one column one table row one column and this area is of course the area where you would type the rest of your message but i'm gonna continue to tab i will write the body later send control enter button this is of course the send button but i am not yet ready to send because i want to put an attachment so let's tab a couple more times more send options menu but clickable attach files menu button collapse sub menu and this button that says attach attach files and this is the button i want pressing enter on it row one column one open dialog file name file name combo box collapsed Edit Alt plus N blank. And it now brings up a little dialog box and it's pretty similar to the Save As dialog box. Um, if you know how to use the Save As dialog box from in Microsoft Word or, or even here in Chrome. So in this dialog box, we're going to shift tab because that's quicker to find the tree view. Items, tree view, OneDrive. And now we're going to look for the folder that has the file that we want to send. The file that I'm, the folder that I'm looking for is videos. So I'm going to just press V for quicker navigation. V, videos, pinned, one of one level one. Press enter on that. Then 
I'm going to tab to my items view list to actually find the file that I want to send. Items view list. Captures check row 1 column 3 3 of 4. Well, that's the first thing. So let me write arrow. Test video check. Okay. This one that says test video. That's the one I want. So this is the file I want to attach. I'm just going to press enter on it. Inbox. Batrating61 at gmail.com. Gmail. Google Chrome window. Inbox. Batrating61 at gmail.com. Gmail. Google Chrome window. Inbox. Batrating61 at gmail.com. Gmail. .com, gmail Attachment test video.mp4 successfully uploaded and added. Attachment test video.mp4 added. Great, and it has told us that the attachment has been successfully added. Wonderful. Let's continue to tab through our compose form. Send. Control enter button. And it took us back to the send field. And yes, if you are finished, you could press enter on here, but I'm going to tab around to show you some more options. More send options. Clickable attach files menu button collapse. That's the attach files button that we've already used insert link insert insert file insert foot toggle con insert sig more options discard draft clickable at cc recipients control shift c link okay this option says add cc recipients cc means carbon copy which means that when you activate this link by pressing enter you would get an edit field where you can put somebody's email address to whom you want the email also to be sent it may not be your main sender because your main sender you'd put in the to field but in the cc field you could put someone you would like the email to go to as well and you may have also heard that it gave us the keyboard shortcut Control shift c you can also use that to get quickly to the cc edit field or you could simply tab around as we just did and enter on the link let's tab once more Add BCC recipients. Control Shift B link. Right, and it said Control Shift B. So this is the BCC link. Of course, if you enter on it, you get an edit field in which you can type an email address for BCC. BCC means blind carbon copy, which means anybody's email address that you put here, they would also get the email, but other persons who are on the email would not know that this other person is receiving the email. All right, let me continue to tab around. I do not want any BCC or CC. I just needed to show you. So I'm going to continue to tab. Two, select contacts link. And we're back to the two field, but no, we do not want to add anybody else. So let's continue through the form. Row one, column two, search field list. Subject edit, hello. And this is a subject we've already typed, hello. Let's tab again. Table, attachment, test video dot MP4. Press enter to view the attachment and delete to remove it. Row one, column one, table. Row 1, column 1. Message body edit multi-line blank. And at this area, it told you the attachment as well as placed you in the message body area. Yes, if you wanted to continue typing your message here, you could do so. But I'm just going to leave this message as is since it's just to me. And I'm going to tab to my send button. Send. Control enter button. And this is where I'm going to press enter. Send. Alert cancel. Alert undo. Sending. Sending. Cancel. Message sent. Undo view message. Message Great. sent. So Gmail has sent my message with the attachment. Wonderful. All right, that's it. It is a pretty simple process to send emails through Gmail. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Look out for our next lesson here on Blind Accessibility Tips YouTube channel. Also remember, of course, to check out our website at blindaccessibilitytips.com.